I'm Aisy. I'm from Iran, Tabriz. My name is Sad. I was born in Tabriz, Iran. At the beginning, it was just like the adventure of it, like walking on the streets, like pulling. And then, yeah, like we try to communicate our visions, like tell a message, like to the people. And also at the time, like the things were going on back in Iran, like after the protests in Iran, we had some pieces about those things and we had like interviews, we had a show outside of Iran that people can see like what was happening in Iran. When my brother Saad started skateboarding, yeah, everything started from skateboarding, so we used to make some small pieces and putting our in gathering place so that was the beginning actually at the time i started i was the only person in tabriz who was skating like people used to laugh at me like holding the skateboard but and then yeah we started doing like thinking about things the things like happening around us like because it was great that we could like share our visions with the streets like with the stencil which yeah we chose a stencil which was faster and because we had to do it as quick as we can. 2007, like, yeah, we started. We did some life-size, like, yeah, stances, like kids sitting around the city. And then, yeah, we got interested into street art and, and we got to know other street artists. So, yeah, and we love this. Always we have to do it quickly and it was so dangerous to be caught in Iran. So if you caught in Iran, yeah, there is no certain crime for that. So they can charge anything they like. Yeah, in Iran, if you get caught, you don't know what's gonna happen to you. But the last time, like actually we weren't even painting. Like we just got arrested with a filmmaker. Because of nothing, we were in jail like for seven days. And um, But right now, there's like much more people who like who actually are doing street art in Iran and also the people are following. We started together like and it helped a lot like to being like brothers and because there was nobody like but we support each other and we work much faster when we are working on a piece on the street. We have separate ideas but always we make it together. Our books are having messages, but they are different messages, which are simple that everybody could get his own vision. We were thinking like to leave the country and to leave somewhere that we can do our works more freely. At first, we had to pass military service both to get a passport, so we we talked with our managers and agents to doing a show, solo show in New York. So when we got visa, we just flew to New York. Yeah, we came to New York, we had a show, and now we live in Brooklyn. The best thing here you can do legal walls because the people there is some people that arrange the walls for the artists and invite them from all over the world. That's great because the street art uh, it's for the people, for not for the gallery people, but the artists. It's for the simple people. The people can see every day 